I am Mark David here, local real estate loan officer, and joining me here today is Stephen Krieger from Anderson Jones, and we're going to just, I guess, talk a little bit about what's happening in the, the current real estate market here in the Fox Valley area. So Stephen, could you fill me in a little bit more on what you're seeing as, as a real estate professional? Absolutely. Uh, thank you, Mark, for having me on with this discussion. And uh, so my name is Stephen Krieger. I'm a realtor with Thaddish and Jones Real Estate, and I primarily service the, the Fox Valley. So Fond du Lac, Oshkosh, Nina Menasha, Appleton, and the surrounding areas. And right now in the state of Wisconsin, the Fox Valley is the third largest real estate market. And there is a lot of diversity in, within the Fox Valley. Between Fond du Lac and Appleton, there is a big difference in average sale price and buyer activity, multiple offer activity, that sort of thing. But the overall summary of what's going on, what a, a seller can expect or what a buyer can expect is one, if you're a seller, it's a very strong seller's market. So if you have something to sell, Right now is the time to do it because I can list it and sell it in the quickest, fastest fashion uh, for the most money. Uh, and if you're a buyer uh, working with Mark David and myself, that is going to set you up for maximal success to get your offer accepted, uh, especially in a multiple offer scenario. There's some different strategies and and benefits of working with the both of us that will really put your offer maybe ahead of the competition and get it accepted. And Mark has uh, the best products and, and interest rates and programs to get buyers pre-approved, which is a really important first step. And we can talk about that some yeah. more too. And Stephen, what would you say is, what are you seeing with homes that are going on the market that people are selling? Like how fast are they selling? They're selling fast. There has been about that much of a slowdown. Everyone has been talking about the market crash. And I honestly, I think we're already past that. The, the days on market expanded just a little bit on some homes. The last three years, it was like if anything hit the market, it was gone in one hour. We still see a lot of that. And honestly, that is majority of what is still happening throughout Fond du Lac and in the Fox Valley is these very short days on market, less than a week or two. If something is on the market longer than three or four weeks, it's, oh, wow, that's been out there forever. But maybe it just needs to be a price adjustment with the market change. But yeah, it's still a very fast moving market. So it keeps great realtors like myself and great lenders like Mark working seven days a week to ensure that we're getting results for our, our customers and clients. And we've been seeing really great success with that, honestly. And one thing that I know I hear from people is they say, well, who's buying these houses or where are they coming from? Can you expand a little bit more on, on that? Because I think for the sake of the Fox Valley market, what, what are we seeing some of that change of the population of buyers? Where yeah, they... that's a great question. The, the Fox Valley is really diversifying a lot. I saw a recent statistic in Wisconsin, Appleton's one of the top most diversified communities in the whole state, which if you would have told me that five years ago, I never would have believed that, but it's a mix of different ethnicities, but also people coming from out of state that are realizing that, oh my God, the West Coast and the East Coast, the prices in real estate markets are almost unbearable for your average affordability range. But yet you can come to Wisconsin with that same price range and get a beautiful home. Maybe even something on the lake as well. Lake Winnebago is right in our backyard. It's the largest lake in the state of Wisconsin. There's no restrictions for motorboating. People find great enjoyment with that. I think for a lot of those reasons, we've really seen the Fox Valley market explode different ethnicities and people coming from out of state really because of that affordability factor and variety of homes that the Fox Valley market. Yeah. And which I guess leads me into the family that we recently helped. I think we're one of those kind of situations, right? The 100 and just to kind of fill in the people that might be viewing this video, they reached out to me and they had a challenge. They had a certain payment they really wanted to be within. And that was the reason then I got them connected with you because the affordability factor in the area they had been living wasn't there. And 
you did a phenomenal job finding them a property. Thank you, Mark. And, and I think that was key, but ultimately they wanted that, that monthly payment and what other, I, I think you did some other kind of things along the way when you got their offer accepted. They were in a, can you elaborate a little bit more about their situation? Yeah, a- absolutely. So they're a first time home buyer. This is the other uh, group uh, of uh, home buyers that has really been exploding recently. And, and that is the customers that, that are renting, but rent is so high that they want to buy and have that money go towards uh, a mortgage. And so uh, first time home buyer market's been huge. And so the family that Mark and I helped was a perfect example of this, where they had a pre-approval letter with Mark. So they got connected with me already good to go pre-approval understanding of the payment and loan product. And Mark is a lender who's very easy to get a hold of. So what happened is when I wrote the offer for this family, we wrote a competitive offer that met the seller's needs. But not only that, with the seller, the listing agent was able to reach out to Mark and have a conversation with him about financing. And that really was like the cherry on top that allowed us to get the deal together And we got them to closing and into their home. And they were extra unique in the sense that it was one showing and one offer. So if that sounds appealing and you're viewing this and you're a buyer, you should definitely consider reaching out to us to get some more information about how we can make that work for you and your home purchase. So Yeah. Yeah. And also on that family, I think they were able to take advantage of a couple of first time home buyer incentives that we had yeah. put together for them. I believe That's you awesome. also I believe you also worked through the process with them. They did do a home inspection, I recall. Right. And for many people buying real estate for the first time, they might be in a situation or they were those were individuals that there was a, a couple items that needed a little yes. bit of work done, but you turned <laughs> yes. it into a, a closing cost credit for the yes for these new homeowners. And so they got some incentives. They got some of their closing expenses covered by the seller. At the end of the day, we really were able to see a great amount of success with them getting that monthly payment they were hoping for by moving to the Fox Valley area. The the amount of money they needed to bring in at closing was very affordable for them. And really was a win for their family, which I think they were expanding their family too as yes. part of the dynamics <laughs> of the transaction. I think that's always what we're here to help people on is whether it's that type of situation or we have people like you mentioned that relocate from out of town and find affordability too. It's a pleasure talking with you here today, Stephen. And if anybody would like more information from either of us, definitely direct message us or comment uh, wherever you might be watching this. And we are happy to connect with you and chat more. So thank you all for viewing this. Yes. Thank you all so much. Mark and I are here anytime to help any new customer or client with their uh, real estate goals. So we'll make it happen. You're in good hands. (laughs) So thank you, Mark, for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. Take care. Yes. Take care, guys.